Morning, I hope you are well. I'm back with another food haul. I'm in a good vibration today. I'm trying to change my life. Um, I'm trying to stop all this anxiety and depression that I've got. And I'm working with the law of attraction. Has anybody done law of attraction before? Let me know if you do any law of attraction stuff, if it's something you're interested in, if it's not something you're interested in. I'm just getting into it. I dabbled in it a little bit before but I've never really kind of looked at the science of it so if you do know anything about law of attraction or you do follow it do let me know so I'd love to know your experiences of it as well I'm back today with another food haul from you the usual guys home bargains Asda and Audi do you know, I, I'm, I'm a creature of habit. I'm trying really hard to make sure I'm only buying things that I need rather than things that I actually want. Um, but prices are going up again, again. I mean, my chocolate, I buy dark chocolate every single week and it was 45p last week, 58p. How can it jump so much in seven days? It's, it's crazy. When are prices going to come down or is this it? Is this life now? Is this life? Anyway, I've rambled on about three things in the last two minutes. <laughs> so let's get in to the food haul. I spent £27.65p in Asda and Home Bargains together. I've still got Audi to do, which I'll do tomorrow, but you'll see it straight after this little section anyway, won't you? So let me show you what I got from Home Bargains, where I spent £12.97 in total. This is my little Home Bargains haul. It's not much, but it still cost me 12 quid. I didn't think it would cost that much anyway. Anyway, I bought these biscuits because um, my nieces might pop in at the weekend and my mum said, oh, I need to get some biscuits. And I saw these and they were 99p and there's 12 in a pack. And I think there's two biscuits in each packet. So that's 24 biscuits. So I was like, oh, that's good. She got vanilla, strawberry and chocolate. So with three kids, if we pop to the park or anything like that, I think that's a nice little snack to take with them. So that was only 99p bargain. I needed some more tissues because I've been fighting a cold. It hasn't took over, but I've been fighting it. And these are only 99p as well. But where I've been blowing my nose so much, I've run out of tissues. <laughs> needed some more sponges to do my cleaning with. These eggs are the cheapest eggs I found, I think. So these eggs are £1.89 for 10 big eggs. So I think that's a really good deal. Let me know if you agree. So in home bargains, they're only £1.89 for 10 eggs. I also bought an air freshener for my car because my car sinks again because I've got a son who likes to pass wind a lot. Anyone else says boys do that? Or girls? Anybody? And sinks the car out. I bought some more cleaning wipes because I buy them every week. And I also bought some more baby wipes to actually remove my makeup with because I find these are much softer with my skin and they're only 59p. So that wasn't too bad. So the air freshener was 69p. Uh, the wipes are 59p. This was 59p, I think. I also bought some vitamin C uh, dissolvable tablet things. Again, because I've been fighting this cold and I just wanted to give myself... A a little bit more of a boost that was 99p i also bought a cucumber for 79p and i bought some more throat sweets because as i said i've not been overly well I've, it's not consumed me but i've not been great so i picked up some more of these just to be on the safe side they're 79p each I picked up some chia seeds because I'm almost out. I think these are £1.19. I'm not entirely sure. And I bought a notepad because, guys, this notepad, see it? See this beautiful purple notepad? This is my Disney notepad. I need to get a Disney sticker. Everything that I'm going to be learning about the Disney fantasy and the Disney cruise that we're going on next year, um, I'm going to pop in here and I'm going to be sharing everything I learn about it with you in future videos. So if you haven't seen my Disney cruise announcement video, I will link it in the description box below. Do go and check it out. Um, so that was all the stuff from Home Bargains. That was £12.97p. Moving on to Asda, this cost me £40.68p because as you can see, I bought a yellow sticker, which I'll go into in a moment. So I had to buy some more porridge oats because I opened my last pack. And if you know me by now, open the last pack, buy a new pack. Dark chocolate, 58p guys, 58p. It's just essentials, dark chocolate not impressed uh sugar snap peas as well for 99p i think some pears bought 69p my son absolutely loved these actually they're quite nice they're really nice pears so i bought some more of those 
I bought some more raspberries because these look nice and juicy and red. So I bought some more of them. I'm looking forward to strawberry season because all the ones at the moment look icky and ugh. Bought some more ginger because uh, I'm going to need to do some ginger shots again next week. I bought some more tea bags. I'm not fussy on the cheap tea bags. Tea is tea. Um, and I bought some more cheese because my son has run out of mac and cheese that I usually do a big batch and then I put them in the freezer. Anyway, he's eaten them all. So I bought some more cheese so I can do mac and cheese this week, which again, I will video and upload for you. These chestnut mushrooms were only 69p. So I thought, oh, I'll pick those up because they're usually about 85 to 90p in Aldi, but they're only 69p in Asda. So I picked those up and then I picked up some cherry tomatoes as well for 69p. And finally, I picked up this diced chicken um, and it was, how much was this? Four pounds, oh, six pounds seventy five down to four pounds fifty two, and it's um, it's one kilo of a, uh, what's that? One kilo? Yeah, one kilo. Why does they put all the dot and the not, not, not? Just put one. Anyway, I got diced chicken breast, so I'm going to split it all up and freeze it, so we can have some like chicken pasta bake or chicken wraps or anything like that so that was a really good deal so all of that cost me 14 pound and 68p so in total so far this has cost me 27 pound and 65 let's see what aldi brings tomorrow and here is my aldi shop every single time i think oh i'm gonna have a cheaper shopping day i don't I still don't. I know that one thing on this table cost me £3.50, so that obviously put the price up. If I didn't buy that, I would have had this around the £55, £56 mark. Anyway, I did buy it, and there we go. Nothing we can do. But let's get into it. Obviously, got all my rice cakes. If you know me by now, I do love a rice cake. Got my ready salted and sweet chilli crackers here. My son likes ready salted ones. I like the sweet chilli one. I do like these ones, but... He, he'll eat them quicker than I will. So that's why I bought myself sweet chili because he doesn't like them, so I can have them. I bought some sourdough bread for myself because I can't eat normal bread because it makes me bloat and feel uncomfortable. So I bought some sourdough bread. It's £1.69, uh, this bread. So I only buy it every other week. Um, also bought some frozen blueberries. I just prefer frozen fruit uh, at the moment. I still buy fresh fruit for my son because he's not a fan of frozen fruit, but... I, I am. Two packets of tomato wheels. We're okay with the carrot puffs, but the tomato wheels he still likes, so I still buy them. The dark chocolate, as I said earlier in this video when I went to Asda, was 58p. 58p! Anyway, in Audi, it's 45. So I picked up three bars, guys. I'm stocking up before they put their prices up as well. I also bought a small tub of fat-free Greek yogurt. This one is going to be for my chocolate banana mousse cups that I'm going to make this week. And also I'm making a mac and cheese for my son and I make it with Greek yogurt. I will do a video on what how I make that. So do keep an eye out for that one. So that tub there is purely for mac and cheese and for chocolate banana mousse cups. Also bought some more peanut butter. I bought some lemon juice and I also bought some vitamins for my son. Actually, they're adults. They're adult vitamins. These are things that cost me £3.50 and they're not even the ones I want. Damn it. Okay, never mind. These things happen. Just a reminder to check things before you pick them up and put them in. Okay, so I need to check that now. These were £3.49. So now I've got to go out and buy some more for my son. So not happy about that. Um, not even sure if he can have adult ones. Probably best not to even give them to him. But never mind. Mistakes happen. Live and learn. I um, also bought some chickpeas as well because I'll be making my hummus again this week. I bought some little oranges for my son and I to snack on. Also bought some grapes because I love grapes. Kiwis and apples. Now, these apples are not the usual ones I buy. I usually buy the ones from Asda, but they were sold out this week. But these were on the Super Saver 6 and they were only 99p, the golden delicious ones. And they're quite big apples as well. So quite happy with that hopefully my son will like them if not I will and I'll go back to the usual ones next week I bought big oranges because these were only 69p on the super saver six but these ones are going to be for my ginger shot if you still want to see my ginger shot I've actually uploaded a video of that so I will link that in the description box below for you and I also picked up some lemons for my ginger shot as well uh, these pears were only 69p on the Super Saver 6 as well. I bought pears yesterday. There was only six in the packet. 
My son had one last night. We each had one this morning. So we've only got three left in less than 24 hours. So I thought I'd better pick up some more. <laughs> so they were only 69p. I also picked up some carrots as well to have with my hummus when I make it. Um, also picked up some Greek style salad cheese. They had no cottage cheese. I mean, come on, come on. No cottage cheese. So I picked up this cheese instead. It's the other one that I like. I'll have that in um, a sandwich with the sourdough and some lettuce, which I still got left over. Cucumber and tomatoes, which I bought yesterday in Home Bargains. Also picked up these meat stirs because my son has one of these in his lunchbox every day. But he's with me this weekend, so I'll probably have a couple of his lunch over the weekend as well. So I thought I'd just pick some up to make sure I've got plenty. Picked up some bananas to do my mousse cups with and sweet potato brownies with. Both those videos are going to be coming up in the next week or so. Picked up some peppers. They did have peppers in Home Bargains yesterday for £1.65. These cost me £1.69. The £1.65 ones, uh, they just felt really soft, like they weren't going to last very long. These ones are a little bit harder, so I'd rather have less and pay roughly the same amount of money to have ones that are going to last. And then obviously then I bought my spinach as well. And finally, I bought my fat-free Greek yogurt. This is mine <laughs> to have. I will have this. I will have this whole tub. I will have it um, at nights with fruit and nuts or I have it in my porridge in the mornings. So that one's mine and that little one there is for baking and cooking and stuff like that. So all this here cost me, I think, £34.29p, but I will pull it all on the screen now for you. And I think all together it cost me about £61.94p, so not bad at all. So that is my shopping haul for this week. What I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to record another video which will be coming up on Wednesday of how I actually meal plan to save money and how I go through it and everything else. Because a lot of people ask what I eat. I am doing meals that I eat video. It's not meals of the week. So I'll be sharing with you soon different meals that I eat. Not my son. I will not put my son's dinners on youtube or anything else because i've seen other channels where people really have a go at the mum for what their kid eats and i don't want my kid to ever see that when he's older and people moaning about the food that he eats after having an eating disorder i refuse i'll show you my food because i'm a big girl um but i'm not showing you what my son eats i just refuse so you won't see that but you will soon see a video of the meals that I eat. I'm doing a little kind of collection of different meals that I eat and my favorites and everything like that so that you can kind of see what I have to eat at dinners so you can see what I eat for dinners, etc. But I'm just putting together a little video of all the meals that I eat. That'll be coming up um, in the next couple of weeks or so. But on Wednesday, I am going to do a video of me meal planning to save money. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. If you watched my video last Wednesday, you know I'm going on a Disney cruise, so I'm trying to save as much money as I can so that I can save up for that Disney cruise. I've made a little mistake today with the vitamins, but these things happen. We live and we learn. I will have to go and buy my son some more vitamins now, but I will cut back on something else next week. So, yeah. But I didn't buy my cottage cheese, did I? So, you know, that money can go towards the vitamins. There we go. All sorted. Anyway. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you're not new here but yet to subscribe, then please consider doing so. If you have subscribed, like, comment, or send me any messages, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for connecting with me. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a good morning, good day, or good evening, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.